Hey guys, Eric with the Fastway product team here. I'm going to walk you through using the Insomnia client to query as well as introspect the documentation for the GraphQL API. So assuming you've got the client downloaded, let's go ahead and create a new collection. So a collection is just a grouping of requests that you're going to be creating. So let's go ahead and call this one GraphQL test. Now you'll be brought into this collection and there's nothing in here yet. So I'm going to do new request. So this is going to just be get customer orders. I'll just kind of uh, st stub out a sample call here. And I'm going to do a post request. So it's somewhat misleading, even though we're getting customer orders, you need to remember that every GraphQL query is a post request. So you're posting a body of a GraphQL query. So we're going to create that. Now you'll see that there's an error down here below. The URL is missing. So it's trying to actually introspect the GraphQL API whenever you create that. So what that means is it's trying to reach out and get the documented fields that are available. So I'm going to fill in my URL. Yours will look similar to this. This front part is the, the actual API server name. This may be different for you. So you'll need to reach out to your Fastway representative, or um, you can also find this in your portal settings on the web portal as well. So you'll be able to find the link there. Now we also need to fill out the authentication credentials for this before we can actually hit this endpoint. So I'm going to fill in, and it's going to be basic authentication. I'm going to fill in a sample here. Okay, there we go. So now that we've got this, let's open up and let's look at this schema and try to refresh the schema. So we should be able to get back a success message or, or something as far as that goes um, to just verify that our credentials are in there correctly. There we go. So the error message has gone away and now you'll see this show documentation. So there's actually two things that are happening here. Everything from that, that um, GraphQL endpoint has been pulled down into the Insomnia client. So I can click on this show documentation and if I look at, we're going to be focusing on queries, so if I look at this query type, within here you'll see all of the fields and uh, query parameters that are available for this particular API. So our, our test that we were, were going for here is called get customer orders. So let me start, I'm just going to look at this customer table. So if I click on customer, it'll say, hey, it's, you know, you can limit, you can order by, do where clauses, that kind of thing. But I'm going to look at the type. So if I look at this customer type, I can see, okay, here are all the fields that are available within a customer. So you can peruse the documentation this way, and it's a great way to get kind of to the, the base resources um, and look kind of under the hood. Now, what you can also do if you're somewhat familiar with the Fastway data model is since this all of these uh, objects have been pulled down and we've got the documentation locally in the client, you can actually, if I just define, let's see, query, get customer orders, and remember this part is just a name, so nothing special there. You call that whatever you want. I'm going to oops, open up this query. And if I start typing, you'll see that there's some um, uh, suggestions that are popping up here. So it's actually auto-completing based upon the documentation that has been pulled down from the API itself. So this is always a live and up-to-date set of what's available for your user account through the API. So if I look at the customer, for example, and open that up, I can see all of the fields here just through a, a, an autocomplete pop-up that I've got available. So if I know, like I know that there's a customer ID, I can start typing that, and I can see the customer ID there. I could pull in uh, customer name. Let's do that one. 
Now I also said in the uh, kind of in the description for this call that we're doing here that I want to get the orders for a given customer as well. So if I start typing orders, you'll see there's actually two. So what you can do is if you drill in down here, you can see, okay, there's an order column and that's an object relationship. So that means it's a one to one. So that is actually a default order. What we want is the list of all orders, plural. So we want to look at all orders and create an orders array underneath the customer record. So within that orders, we could actually, let's go to the, the right over here and say, okay, maybe we want to look at the orders field and look at that type. And you'll see up here, this is defined as an array relationship. So you'll get multiple orders back, assuming there are multiple orders. And I can drill into that and see, okay, here's everything associated with an order. So maybe we see the description down towards the bottom there. We know that we want description. Maybe we want... Um, we know that we want the order number, maybe a PO. You could start typing PO and you can see, okay, yep, a PO exists. So we're going to fill that in there. And that's it. So you could go through and either use the suggestions or the, the pop-ups that are, that are happening through the autocomplete, or you could go through the documentation on the right to kind of build out that query. So let's hide the schema here. And let's just issue this query and see what we get back. So this is going to issue a, a, um, a query for, in this case, all customers and all orders. So let's do that. It'll be a pretty big response. This is a, a demo company, so there's not that much data, but probably more than, than we would actually want in, in reality. So we could do some things here to say limit. And you'll see that's also auto-completed. So your filters, your limits, your offsets, those are all um, available through here through auto-completion. So I could say limit to, let's just say, five records just for demo's sake. So we're just saying a limit of five customers. Now we could also apply a limit within the, um, the order as well to say, hey, I just want a handful of, of representative orders for a customer and that's all just defined in the GraphQL query spec. So that's kind of a quick look as to what you can do here using Insomnia. So a uh, quick reminder this schema button is how you would get to um, you know say something changes maybe you need to refresh the schema because your credentials changed or maybe you want to pop up the documentation to see okay what is actually available here that is where you would go to actually grab that. So hope that's helpful. It's a, a, a good look into the, the data model um, and it, it, it makes a really quick development, uh, development and, and debugging pipeline for you.